Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. On this channel, you'll find financial, travel and more videos just like the one you're watching right now. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Three new things about the Equifax data breach. Hello everyone, this is financial author Ahmed Dan of AhmedDon.com. Today I'll talk about three new things that just came to light about the Equifax data breach and I'm expecting this video about three to five minutes long. The first thing, as mentioned earlier by Equifax, the total number of people impacted by its data breach was not 143 million but it's 145.5 million. So it looks like Equifax lost track of 2.5 million people who were also impacted by its data breach and Equifax just mentioned this on Monday. Number two on my list is the timeline. The timeline when the Equifax executives were aware of the data breach was suspicious. At first they told us that the breach was happened on May 13th and Equifax first discovered the breach on July 29th and the company notified the public on September 7th. But at the congressional hearing, the Equifax CEO mentioned that he first learned about the data breach on July 31st and he waited 20 days to notify the board. He also mentioned that he hired a cybersecurity firm to start investigation on August 2. However, he didn't ask for a briefing about the suspicious activity until August 15, which is two weeks later after the investigation began and almost 18 days after the initial red flag. At this point, they're coming up with so many different dates and timeline that it's hard to believe which one is true and which one is false and whether uh, they're giving us all the information or they're still hiding something. So these dates are very confusing and it just doesn't add, add up that you know they had to wait so long to start the investigation, take it to the board and notify public. Number three on my list is data encryption. You will be surprised to know that Equifax mentioned that the data that got hacked or breached was not encrypted and that was in plain text form. I, I'm totally speechless at this point and I have nothing else to say because I just cannot believe that a big company who are dealing with millions of people's data and all the information, they even didn't bother to encrypt some specific data and those are the ones that got ha hacked. So these are the three new things that we just learned about today and I'll be mentioning more and more. Uh, I do have a playlist for the Equifax data breach which I'll put a link in the description box below so you can watch that uh, a list which will have more videos on the Equifax data breach and as I produce more videos in the uh, future on Equifax I'll be adding to the playlist. Thank you for watching if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you shortly. Thank you.